we welcome two true legends of the sport. The whirlwind of old London town, Jimmy White, and the king of the crucible, Stephen Hendry. Jimmy White gets the frame underway and while well, you're sitting at home watching two of the greatest players of all time and the entertainment that Jimmy, who's still very popular all over the world and this king of the crucible, it's great to be here commentating on them, uh, Lee, isn't it? Well, obviously I haven't done as many as you, Dennis, but I mean, it's two legends. I mean, I said in Sheffield, I said, it's not just the fans that love Jimmy White, the players love Jimmy White also. I know he doesn't like playing safety shots, but has he got away with this one? Oh, he has been very fortunate. But look where the black's gone. Tied up completely. Is there one that'll just go in the corner? There was, and the pink's available. One. I'm not sure when the pink's re-spotted, if it'll be tied up also. But good queuing to knock that in. Now let's see if the pink's still going to be available. Mm, it's a bit hampered. Seven. It's a little bit hampered. So black out of commission, pink awkward. Red's nicely placed, but far from easy. Beautiful Eight. positional shot there, managed to steer the white in between all the reds there to get on the blue. And of course. Is there one that'll just go in the corner? There was, and the pink's available. One. I'm not sure when the pink's re-spotted if it'll be tied up also. But good queuing to knock that in. Now, let's see if the pink's still going to be available. Mm, it's a bit hampered. Seven. It's a little bit hampered. So, black out of commission, pink awkward. Red's nicely placed, but far from easy. Beautiful Eight. positional shot there, managed to steer the white in between all the reds there to get on the blue. And of course, just a brilliant rest player. Mm, that might not be any good. Go because if he's straight on the red into the left corner, he can't get out onto the pink. He's going to have to do quite a bit as he got a little bit of action. If anybody can do it, Jimmy can, but oh, oh, oh he nearly nearly pulled off an unbelievable 14. positional shot there so unlucky as soon as you see the cue ball coming back he's looking to bring the back into play jimmy white 14. the lonely cry of come on stephen I'm sure he's got plenty of fans in the audience. A long tester for Jimmy. That was a half chance for Stephen, but as he said in his interview after his first match, he hasn't been playing a great deal of snooker. He's been doing a lot of traveling. One. That will do nicely. Jimmy White special there. Long range pot. Just keep an eye on the cue ball here. Yeah, perfectly played. Delicate little cannon. He's in the driving seat here.
8. Hit that a little bit harder than he wanted. I'm not sure Nine. if that red next to the black is potable. But he's gone a bit too far for the blue. He's back looking at the blue, but it's all about controlling the cue ball here. He feels as if that red will go. The one I mentioned next to the black, and that will help. 14. Looks to be just enough room. Oh, it's in, it's in business now. 15. Yeah, that opens things right up. Black's now, now in play. It's one good positional shot. He's probably going to try and stun the cue ball up into the two reds directly above it. And that'll leave him on the red in the right hand pocket. Oh, well, maybe it goes without the cannon. So I still think he's playing for the red. 22. Into the right hand pocket. He's down, he's gonna play this with a little bit left hand side. Just to turn the red into the pocket, beautifully done. And with the spotted white, you could see it spinning there with a little bit of sun. That's where it's so useful. Uh, I mean, it, it's only used in one or two formats, but it does give people an indication of what happens when the player puts side on. You can see the ball spinning. 30. Tough shot into the middle pocket now. Beautiful. 31. Thirty-seven. Just a couple of balls away now from uh, this big win against his arch enemy. He's in beautiful position. Of course, Jimmy's still 45. on the main tour and still practices. Well, daily, you'd have to say, puts an awful lot of hard work in still. And you can tell by the way he's queuing that he, he does practice quite a bit. 46. <laughs> so this pink will put him 66 in front. There's now 67 on the table, so just one more red. 52. 53. Frame now virtually safe. Could he possibly make the first century in this year's Mr. Vegas? 59. 900 World Seniors. He tried to move that red, so that might spoil things. He was hoping to cannon the red on the right side cushion into play there. Not going to be easy now. Three greatest players in the world with 63. the rest. This is one of them, Jimmy White. Sean Murphy's another. Who's the third? Who do you think? Go on, Lee, put you on the spot. Oh, you have put me on the spot. Yeah. I, mean, I was going to say Sean Murphy straight away, but. Kyron um, Wilson. Oh, of course it is. He cues like a, it goes through like a train, doesn't it? His cue action. Beautiful. 66. Can he keep it going here? Get in. Oh, what a shame. There was a possibility of the first century break. That was a magnificent 66. 
Big smiles all around. Stephen Henry never really got a chance. And Jimmy White acknowledges the crowd and marches in to the semi-final. You've got revenge today, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he beat me in Epsom. Um, we don't play that much these days because Stephen doesn't, he's not on the tour, but, um, you know, it's, it's always great to play Stephen, you know, he's such a great player, great champion. He's never beat, even when he's not even practising, you know, <laughs> so you've got to pop the balls. Well, you've done that, you made a lovely break at the end there. How, how good are you feeling at the minute? Well, I, I was very nervous there. Um, I'm feeling all right, I've been playing some good stuff. That's, I've done a schoolboy error in the first match, didn't hit the cushion. I think I might have half miscued, not sure, but sort of, um, you know, I needed to win that frame. And, yeah, I'm pleased to get a 60 break, yeah. And uh, we yeah. have um, Stephen, sadly, um, going home, but uh, <laughs> you've not really been putting the work in. But we've got to ask you about, you know, the great rivalry with mm. yourself and Jimmy down through the years. Yeah. Jimmy did say, Neil reminded me actually earlier, he said, you know, I'm beginning to get sick of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, uh, Jimmy was my hero when I started playing snooker. Um, he, 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 was, <laughs> he, was, he, he was my idol and then to start, start playing him. Um, we got su such great memories um, of, of wins and defeats for both of us down the years. And um, it's always an occasion, even a one frame thing. Like this, it's al always an occasion. Um, but yeah, Jimmy plays more than me. You can, you can tell he's, he strikes the ball. I can't strike the ball at all. I mean, it's embarrassing. But, um, but Jimmy had made a nice break there, good control of the cue ball and uh, deserved to win. Tell, tell me, Stephen, what's it like now for you if you do lose? Because it used to be when you were like your, your pomp, when you lost, mm. it was like monosyllabic answers. Yeah. Is it any better? Um, Do you hate well, losing? I, I hate, I, no, but to be fair, obviously I don't practice. I hate playing the way I play. I've got no cue action whatsoever, which is not nice. Um, but yeah, I, I, you never like losing, especially we've got a great crowd here. Um, it's a great event, it's good fun. So no, none of us in this tournament want to lose. But, um, but yeah, I realise I'm not in the same class as these guys now in terms of, of, of striking the cue ball. Here's an idea. Why don't you have a bit of practice before your matches? <laughs> yeah. It's just something you could consider, you know? I don't think it's going to happen. I'd leave him alone. He's just lost. <laughs> um, and, of course, we will see uh, Jimmy in the semi-final against um, Ken Doherty, your old pal, yeah. your great pal. Yeah, listen, you know, like Stephen said, you know, me and Ken, Steve and Tony Drago, we've been playing forever. You know, Neil was playing... You know, all the time they turn professional around about the same time. It's always great to play Ken. You know, it's just, uh, it's exciting, but it's a very short format. For, in your terms, it's a, it's a short sprint. It is a sprint to the line. You're inside the final for long. You've lost in two of these finals. Yeah. I'm sorry to remind you, so but... I'm used to that. Come on, Jimmy. Can we do <laughs> oh, no. it? Are we going all the way? No, I'm up for trying to win for sure. Yeah, I don't get my cue out unless I want to win.